tail of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands six feet, three inches tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Forrest Griffin! And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, one inch tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Irvine, California, by way of Memphis, Tennessee. Witton Rampage Jackson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. There she is, the beautiful Edith, getting us set for the start of this matchup. Herb Dean, our referee. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Forrest Griffin, Quentin Rampage Jackson, and oh, here we good. go. The best thing that can be said about Forrest is that since season one of The Ultimate Fighter, he has improved every single day. Every time he's entered the octagon, he's gotten better. And we saw that progress, especially in the upset win over Mauricio Shogun Hua. He went from the winner of The Ultimate Fighter season one to the number one light heavyweight in the world. He's so intelligent and he's so self-deprecating that he doesn't allow his ego to get in the way of his training. And because of the intelligence and because of the work ethic, he's just destined to get better every time he fights. Joe, it looks like he's trying to set up a submission here. No, he lost it. Head kick, nothing. Inside the guard, posturing up. Forrest Griffin, winner of the Ultimate Fighter 1. That, that show kick, trying to set up a submission. Joe, this place is going wild. Oh, beautiful escape. And he lets him back up. Swing and a miss. And the right hand knocks him down. Lets him up. That one landed. Good shot. Misses the takedown. Rampage packs so much power in those hooks. Oh, oh nice great kick. kick. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Trying to come over the top. Rampage gets rocked, but he can take a punch. Rampage has a great chin. He's eating some punches. And now Rampage looking to explode. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Joe with Forrest Griffin, when he kicks you, it's like a baseball bat coming across your thigh at about 60 miles per hour. Well, you know what? Forrest is a very intelligent guy, and intelligent people concentrate very hard on their technique. That's one thing Forrest has done. His technique is excellent. Just over a minute remains in round one. Body shot. One minute remains. Oh! 45 seconds remains. Pushing forward quickly. Clinch. Working in the clinch. 30 seconds remains in the round. Oh, just missed. Oh, wow. Almost got him there. Good body kick. Superman punch. Now they clinch. Tight in the clinch. Win or lose, there are going to be a couple of really sore dudes after this fight's over. Yeah, no one's going to recognize these guys in the morning. Let's take a look at some of the action here.
one quick thing, when you go jib, bro, come back with the jib. Don't come back with the hook. He's leaning back. You'll catch him with the jib. Awesome. Good round. How do you feel? Take a deep breath. Take up deep breaths. The only thing, when you're uh, when you're rocking him stand up, just uh, don't jump in his guard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There she is, the beautiful Ariani. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Come Second on, round, go. not a title fight, so this fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. You know, Quentin Rampage Jackson, when he first came to the UFC, might have been the most popular fighter that a lot of fans in the U.S. didn't know because he gained much of his recognition and pride. But when he first came in and fought and defeated Chuck Liddell, that was the cold hero at that point, and everyone was kind of like, wait, who is this guy? Then as we got to know him, we found out he's a great fighter and a great person. Yeah, nobody really knew who he was. I mean, he had fought uh, once in the UFC, fought Marvin Eastman in uh, a very good fight, but people had no idea that this was a man that had already devastated Chuck Liddell and many other opponents over in Japan. Chuck was one of the most devastating champions in the sport and one of the most successful light heavyweight competitors ever. Rampage Jackson knocked him out. Joey's looking for some control here. He's got double underhooks. Shoots for the takedown. Double leg, got it. Joe Quinton rampaged. He's going for that Kimura. See, he rolls over here. He's got to connect his hand. Oh, he escaped. Very nice escape. Got to watch for the up kick. And back to full guard. Three minutes remains in the second round. Looking for the arm bar. He's got to get the leg over the face. Oh, he lost it. Nice escape. Got to watch the up kick. He lets him up. Joe, what's the key to the spinning back fist? Well, the key is to make the opponent think that you're doing something else. Joe, they close the distance. Now the clinch. Quentin Rampage Jackson in the clinch will bring knees to the midsection, Joe, and he will punish you with some just scary elbows. Scary elbows, scary uppercuts and punches. And the thing about Quentin Jackson is when one of those lands, you're in trouble. He's got that kind of power. What a huge right hand! He's out! It is all over! Wow! Winner by knockout! Let's see it one more time. Here we see it again, close up. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. Declaring the winner by knockout, Winton Rampage Jackson! Quentin Rampage Jackson reigns supreme.